Hey guys, what's up? It's Julia. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a makeup tutorial on this look inspired by the one and only Cardia Milan. Cardia Milan is one of my favorite, probably my actual favorite YouTubers. She is a like lifestyle youtuber vlogs and like stuff like that i just really love her she's got a really cool style she's australian so it's just like fun to hear her talk and she's just got a really good like outlook on life but yeah she's just a great person to follow and to watch on top of all that she is beautiful i love the way that she does her makeup so today i created this makeup look inspired by this makeup look that she wore in one of her videos so make sure to check out cardia if you don't follow her already because you should she's amazing and also be sure to subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this yeah if you like what you see here then just keep on watching i'll post a picture here of what i'm basing this look off of i just really love the way that she does her winged liner she kind of like connects it to her lower lash line um, and she really like enhances that cat eye look and then in the video that I'm taking the screenshot from She paired it with a uh, red lip, which I thought looked so good Especially with her dark hair and dark features I zoomed in just a bit So I'm going to first do foundation Cardia always has very like glowy skin She's got really nice skin naturally and then her makeup is always super glowy. I do want to use my Fenty foundation again, which this is more of a matte finish rather than glowy, but I'm going to show you guys what I've been doing to make this super glowy. I have pretty dry skin, like normal to dry. I do get oily throughout the day, but overall my skin is pretty dry just in general. So matte foundations tend not to be the best for me, but I really do like the color and the finish of this foundation when I mix it with this. And this is the MAC Strobe Cream. And I just do one little dot of that. And then I do like four or five pumps of the Fenty Beauty. Speaking of a Cardia inspired video, twice in the past week, she's responded to me on Instagram and I like fangirled so freaking hard. She's just so great. I commented on one of her pictures on Instagram. She always posts like these photos, the long captions and I was like super inspirational. And I just put a really nice comment and she like commented back with hearts and emojis and stuff. I was so excited. She commented back on everybody, but still I was pumped then. I posted a photo on my Instagram the other day and me and my friend Mariana, who is another YouTuber, she makes videos too. I'll link her down below. We took a photo together and both of our outfits were kind of like Cardia inspired because we both love her. So I posted that on Instagram and I made the caption to Cardia inspired mamacitas and I tagged her in it and she commented on it and was like, oh my God, you guys look so cute. And I was like, <laughs> My lord. If you watch YouTube videos, like I do, about the ads, <laughs> you definitely check her channel out. Again, it's linked in the description. She's my favorite. So now I'm going to do concealer. I'm going to use the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. I have the color number 25. I'm just gonna do a little bit of this. This is more of a peachy undertone. This is a good one to color correct dark circles which i need to do other maybelline concealer over top and that's the age rewind and this one is a better color for me it's a little more highlighting now that that is all blended out i do like to add this these are the sephora radiant luminizing drops this particular product is discontinued for some reason but it's just a liquid highlighter there are so many liquid highlighters out there on the market so you can find something very similar i like to just add this on my cheeks and a little on my nose okay so now that i've done all the liquid and cream kind of products i'm going to set with powder. I'm gonna use my RCMA No Color Powder and set my under eyes. I'm also gonna take a little bit of the Bare Minerals Face Powder Foundation, whatever it's called, and I'm just gonna set the foundation a little bit. Not too much powder, because it is more of a matte foundation, but I could do this just so it doesn't settle in the creases of my face. So now I'm going to move on to the eyes. I'm going to take my contour powder. I'm going to use this color right here. This is the Anastasia Contour Kit. And I'm just going to put this in my crease 
and like on my lid a little bit. I'm not doing much with the eye makeup besides the liner because I want the liner to be the main focus. I'm just going to give my crease a little bit of depth and then go right into the liner. First, I'm actually going to tight line my waterline with just this NYX black eyeliner pencil. So for the liner, I'm going to be using the NYX Matte Liquid Liner. I know Cardio really likes the Benefit Push-Up Liner. I don't have that. I used to use it a lot, actually. I really like it. But um, I use this now whenever I do winged liner. It's just a brush tip, which I enjoy because I feel like I have more control and create a pretty decent sized wing. This is like Cardia's signature thing with her makeup. So the way I do my wing is I just kind of start with a line along the lash line to get the excess liner off of the brush. Then I go ahead from the corner of my eye and create a line up toward the tail of my brow. Then I'm going to go ahead and connect that down to my lash line. Then I just fill in this little triangle here. And then I kind of just go back and even out the line. Just keep going back and forth and filling it in till I get the desired wing. I've got my wing and as you can see it's a little bit messy which is fine because I'm going to show you right now how I fix that. I always like to take concealer and clean up the under edge of the wing. I'm just going to use that same Maybelline Fit Me concealer. Put some on the back of my hand here. I'm gonna use this angled liner brush. This is what I would use if I were doing my liner with like a gel liner, but for today, I'm actually just gonna use it with concealer to clean up underneath. Just go right along this line. And that just cleans up any mistakes. I'm gonna go back with the liner and kind of extend that wing a little bit further. See, I just totally fucked it up. It's trial and error with winged liner, honestly. <sighs> what the fuck am I doing? I'm just gonna take the makeup remover now at this point. I'm just struggling a little bit here, but that's okay. We're gonna do this. I'm gonna make this work. There we go. Now we are in business. Yeah, finally. Okay. <laughs> that's just gonna stay there. Nobody's perfect. But if you mess it up sometimes. <laughs> Okay, I just messed up more times than I ever have in my entire life. And I think we got to a place where we can live, you know? If you're struggling with your winged liner, keep on going and just work it out. There are ways to fix your mistakes, clearly. <laughs> Liza, Liza just texted me. French liaz, as I like to call her. <laughs> so my eyes are feeling a little weird at the moment because I just demolished them with liquid liner, but that's okay. We're going to keep going. I'm going to curl my lashes and put on mascara. I'm going to be using the same mascara as I always use. Cardia has lash extensions. I don't, but these mascaras are great. They make my lashes look super nice. So I'm going to put them on and give my camera a little break while I do that, and I will be right back. No music. No music. Hey, 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 hey. Now that I did my lashes, I'm gonna go ahead and go to the lower lash line. This is another part of the eye look that is very particular to Cardia. She always lines her lower lash line with black eyeliner, so that's what I'm going to do quickly here. And then what she does usually is she'll connect her wing to her lower lash line with eyeliner so i'm going to take this and kind of smudge it down um 
below the waterline, more on the lash line, and connect it with the wing. Can't find anything, um, including my E36 from Morphe, which is my little pencil brush. I'm gonna take this one, just kind of smoke that out a little so it's not like a harsh line. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and use some Maybelline Big Shot on my lower lashes. I'm gonna go ahead and do my brows quick before I finish the rest of my face. Like, I know someone might be dying, but you gotta interrupt me like that. Anyway, um, Cardia's brows are definitely, Cardia's eyebrows are definitely another very defining part of her look. She's got very nice, thick eyebrows. So I'm just gonna really enhance the tail of my brow and the arch of my brow. Kind of give myself a better arch. No brow. One brow. No brow. Everyone always asks me, why do you fill your brows in? Your brows are so thick. Why do you need to fill them in? Come on. Look at the difference. So now I'm going to finish off my face. I'm doing the rest of my face makeup. Cardi has got a much narrower face and much like more defined cheekbones than I do. So we're going to contour the shit out of my cheeks. Using the same shade I used in my crease, I'm gonna go ahead and just cut these babies. Give myself a little facelift, lose 20 pounds really quick, you know. So now I'm gonna take this brush. I have no idea where it's from. I've had it for so long, but it's just like this fluffy angled brush and I really like it to contour my nose. So I like to put contour right here, kind of hollow out this area and then I just pull a little bit down the side of my nose. Not anything crazy. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take the usual Benefit Hoola bronzer. Clearly love bronze up my face. I like to use my bronzer to kind of like blend contour out so that it's not super harsh and obvious. I'm gonna go ahead and highlight. I'm first actually gonna take this. This is the Essence Pure Nude Highlighter. It's a super natural looking highlight. It just gives you a nice glow. It's not intense. It's like $2 from the drugstore. I like to take it on this. This is a dual fiber brush. And I kind of just like to put this all over my face, especially with this matte foundation. I like to do this. It just gives you a nice glow that looks super natural. So now that I did that highlight, I'm gonna go ahead and add a more intense highlighter. So I'm using this, this is the Desi X Katie Dose of Colors highlighter in the color Fuego. And I think I've said this in the past, but I like to do my highlighter after my bronzer, but before my blush so that I can use my blush to kind of blend everything together. Put a little bit on my nose, chin, cupid bow. I'm also gonna use that same highlighter on my inner corner and my brow bone. I really like to use this brush for it. This is Urban Decay. It comes in the Naked Palette. I love it for highlighting my inner corner. I use this end and then my brow bone, I use this end. Then I go into this palette again and use this. This is Coralista. I used it a couple videos ago and I just haven't been able to stop now. So now that the face and the eyes are complete, I'm going to go ahead and set my face real quick. Only thing left to do now is my lip color. So the look that I'm basing this off of is from this video that I showed you earlier. She paired her like signature eye look that she does with a red lip, which I just thought looked really great. So I'm going to do the same. I'm first going to use the Kylie Cosmetics Mary Jo K lip liner. really like the liner because Kylie's lip liners are all really good, but I have the liquid lipstick that goes with this and I wore it once and it was awful. It ended up like all over my face and it was just bad news. So I don't like the liquid lip, but I like the liner. So I'm just going to use the liner first. I'm going to use this. This is just a NYX lipstick. This is really old, but it's the only red lipstick that I have actually. So I'm going to use this over top. So that is it for this Cardia Milan inspired makeup tutorial. Like I said, she's one of my favorite YouTubers, so make sure that you check her YouTube out if you don't follow it already. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this makeup tutorial. It turned out exactly how I hoped it would, and I really like it. 
So if you also liked it, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos in the future. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to catch you in the next one. Peace. And blessings. <laughs> Long fucking story short, I put a whole bag of jelly beans up my ass. <laughs> cool, cool. Um, I always put too much. Okay, didn't put any. Had to take a quick pause to order food, you know? Girls gotta eat. Nobody's perfect. I gotta work it again and again till I get it right. Hello? Hi, the new Yeah. The camera's blue. Why is it so blue?